What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. And right now, I'm about to give you a quick tip, all right? I know y'all like my tip videos. I've been getting a lot of requests. I'm glad you enjoy them because as you know, I consider myself a trainer first, bodybuilder second. So let's go ahead and get to today's tip. Title of today's video, what's a good way to fix lagging biceps? Well, as you know, muscle groups are mostly genetic. However, training is how we activate them. Training is how we make them grow. And you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be 100% honest with yourself. Is your form on point? You have so many ego lifters in the gym, and I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Ego lifting is absolutely fine. If you wanna come to the gym after a long day at work, or you're stressed out, and you just wanna pound some fucking weight, that is completely fine. Like every day when I'm having sex, I don't wanna make sweet love, that's how I wanna do some fucking. It's okay, but if you come to the gym and you wanna build muscle, you have to train as optimal as possible. Let me show you this right here. One of the best bicep exercises you can do is the standing barbell curl. Check it out. Let's get a side view. Now as you know, you keep your arms to your sides. You roll your shoulders back, sit the chest up. Let the arms hang. And you just curl it up. One of the most simple and most effective movements you can do. However, so many people fuck this simple shit up. You might see people doing this, this, all kinds of ego. When you're trying to hit the bicep, man, you can probably get away with bad form on squats. You can probably get away with bad form doing, you know, pull-ups or rows. But when it comes to biceps, form is very important. Now let me show you why. This for an example. How many people have you seen do this? Right? Look at my arm again. How many of y'all see this in the gym? Right? What's wrong here? Yes, when I did that, the bicep was still getting a lot of work. But what else was getting a lot of work? The front delt, right here. The front delt was getting a lot of work. Now believe it or not, even though the front delt is a small muscle compared to the quads, it's small compared to the lats, small compared to the traps, it's still helping you. Think about it like this, right? I'm a muscle. I am a muscle. I am not Chris Jones. I am a muscle. And the couch is weight. And I want to get this couch upstairs. Yes, I can get the couch upstairs by myself, but it would be much easier if I had somebody else help me. Another muscle. Okay? Two muscle groups moving one thing is always going to be a lot easier. So when you're curling a weight like this, yes, you're curling a weight. You're getting a good contraction, however, you got the shoulders helping you as well, which is why you're probably able to use a lot more weight. I guarantee you, if you take the same person who's in the gym doing bad form, and you make them do proper form, their weight is going to drop, probably by 10, 20 percent. Okay? Here's the other mistake right here. All right? Roll the shoulders back, chest up, arms hang. Check it out. Here we go. Watch this right here. What am I doing wrong? Look closely. Get my side view. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? A lot of you guys, you probably guessed it. I'm swinging a little bit. I'm swinging a little bit. Now a lot of you probably gonna say, Chris, a little swing to help get a little momentum isn't so bad. That couldn't be any more farther from the truth. Let me explain why. When you swing at the hole, at the bottom of the motion, for one, a lot of you guys don't realize this, I'm gonna get to this in a whole different video when I talk about cables versus free weights. But a lot of you don't realize this, guys, when you're doing free weighted curls, most of the tension comes from here. When gravity's coming down and your palm starts down here, from here on here, it's where most of the tension comes from. Once you get past it, once you get past this, it's really not a lot of tension. This is where most of the tension comes from. And when you use your lower back to help you, you're losing a lot of the load. Muscles no load, muscles no tension. Okay, think about it like this. 
a lot of you guys don't realize the lower back is the erectors. The erectors is one of the most overlooked body parts, okay? It's actually one of the strongest parts of your body. Think about it like this. When you're doing bent over rows and you're rowing like this, the only thing that is keeping your back from doing this is the only thing that is keeping you from swinging and falling forward and leaning forward is those erectors. You gotta have strong erectors to keep that chest up. When you're squatting two times your body weight, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, and you come down like this, those legs are not what's keeping you together. That lower back is the only thing keeping your back from snapping in half. That lower back, those erectors, are the only thing that's keeping you from doing this when you squat. When you swing like that with your erectors, rather you realize it or not, you're taking away a lot of the load because rather you realize it or not, those erectors are much more stronger than the biceps. Much more stronger than the biceps. I can squat 500 pounds on my back and keep my back straight, but there's no way in hell you're gonna curl 500 pounds. Okay, those erectors are very strong. Okay, so two things. Curling, you wanna try to take out the shoulders. When curling, you wanna try to take out that lower back. Now, if you're swinging and jerking, right, and you still got big ass biceps, fuck it, turn up the fucking camera. You have good genetics, and you don't have to use a good form. There are people like that. There are people like that all around the world who can use shitty form, eat shitty food, and still get good results, and that's completely fine. But if you've been training for three or four years, your arms still look like shit, you owe it to yourself to try something new. Now let me go ahead and show you a couple exercises that's gonna help you keep the shoulders out and keep the lower back out. Let's go. All right, homies and homies, this right here is the straight bar concentration curl. Now you may have seen several, several variations of a concentration curl. Uh, the reason why they call it the concentration curl is because you wanna focus on the mind-muscle connection and really get a good contraction, okay? Let me show you my favorite variation of the concentration curl. What you wanna do is, depending on how tall you are, of course, bring the bar to shoulder level. Okay, as you see, this is where the opening is, and here's my shoulder level. Okay, so we got a shoulder level, and what you're gonna do is straighten your arms. See that, my arms are straight. Have them straight. Let your shoulders come forward. Don't have them back. Let them hang forward. Okay, now look at my feet. One leg in front of the other for balance. I got one leg in front of the other for balance. My arms are straight. Now check me out. Lean back just a little bit, let your arms hang forward. What this is doing is, this is keeping your shoulders in a fixed position. That way, you can't raise them up and down to help you cheat the weight up, okay? This is gonna force your biceps to fight for themselves. No help, nobody's jumping in. It's one-on-one, -on -one. biceps versus the weight. You don't want the shoulders jumping in, you don't want your cousin, the spinal erectors, jumping in. It's a one-on-one -on -one fucking fight. You versus the bar. Biceps versus the bar. Let's see who the fuck gonna win. All right? So what you do is, one leg in front of the other. All right? Roll your shoulders forward. Let your arms hang. And here we go. Just curl. Bam. Give them a look at the biceps. Keep in mind, I'm not lean. Let me back in about June. That's when you see Lee Jones again. I say about June, I'll be the whole ready again. But check me out. You can still see the biceps working. Look. Bam. Show them the biceps working. Stretch. Bam. Stretch. Bam. Stretch. Bam. Stretch. Bam. Stretch. Look at this. My shoulders, I couldn't use my shoulders even if I wanted to. Look at this. I cannot cheat. My shoulders are in a fixed position. I got them rolled forward. My arms are hanging and I'm curling. All biceps, all biceps, squeeze. Squeeze and control it. Don't let it drop. Squeeze, 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 and squeeze. One of my favorite exercises to do, I like to do it either at the very beginning of my workouts or at the very end. You know, it's a real good way to start off your workouts to really get a good pump and then go ahead and do some heavy ass curls because once you got a good pump, that mind-muscle connection is real fired up and every rep 
on those dumbbell curves you're gonna feel. Or, this is a real good way to finish your bicep workout out, do some high rep sets and get a real good pump, put some blood into those muscles, okay? I love this right here. Now I'm gonna show you one more, and I'm gonna send y'all on y'all way. Y'all stay tuned. All right, homies and home men, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably seen me do this exercise quite a few times. One of my favorite ways to isolate those biceps, okay? You're gonna need an incline bench. Have it set about 45 degrees, okay? 45 degrees. And obviously, this is great because when you sit the fuck down, you're not gonna be able to cheat with your lower back. Always remember this. If you feel like you gotta cheat, have a fucking seat, okay? So sit the fuck down and there's no lower back help. Now this is how we're gonna keep the shoulders out. If you never watched my video called Retract the Fucking Scapula, go watch it right now. And believe it or not, type in the word fucking, retract the fucking scapula, my face will pop up, okay? Type in retract the fucking scapula, it's a video on how to retract the scapula. In a nutshell, all you need to do is this. Roll your shoulders up, roll your shoulders back, and stick the chest up as far as you can. That's how you're gonna keep those shoulder blades retracted. And that's how you keep the lower back out. You keep the lower back out by sitting the fuck down and laying down. You're gonna keep the shoulders out by retracting the scapula and keeping your blades pinched against this bench, okay? Now here we go, go get some dumbbells. I typically do about 45 to 50 pounds, depending on how I feel that day, depending if I'm bulking or cutting, you know, things vary, but keep in mind, I'm going light to show you how this is done, all right? Check it out. So, we roll those shoulders up, we roll them back, stick that chest up, let those arms hang. Look at my shoulder blades. Look how I'm there against the bench, right? My arms are hanging. This is what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna just lay back like you're getting ready to take a fucking nap. You don't do that. Don't just lay back on the bench like you're getting ready to take a nap and watch Netflix or some shit. You have to sit up, roll those shoulders back. Bam, stick that chest up, bam. See my chest, it's up. It's not like this. Don't do this. Chest up. Now we're ready to work, baby. Arms are hanging. There's no lower back helping. There's no fucking shoulders helping. Look at this. All biceps, baby. All biceps. Don't be jealous. Don't be fucking jealous of these goddamn biceps. <laughs> I am showing you how to work them. You can go build your own set of biceps, baby. Now, if I was up in here keeping all the secrets to myself, I can see why you're mad. But I'm giving you the secrets, baby. All you gotta do is go to the gym, apply yourself, and you yourself can have some nice arms. Okay, stop cheating. Use good form. If you know you're using too much lower back, take the lower back out. If you know you're using too much shoulder, take the shoulder out. That is two great exercises you can do to bring up those lagging biceps. If you enjoyed these tips, share my videos, like my videos, comment in the comment section, let me know that you appreciate what the fuck I do, and I would love to bring you more tips. This is what I live for. This is what I fucking love to do. The only thing I love more than working out is fucking and training others, okay? And I appreciate all you guys' support. Thank you for the four years of support. Let's get ready to make it five and be looking out for a great year for Palm Chasers, okay? Anyway, don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches and holler back at your boy.